Hi, I'm DA. Hey, salute to you for journeying with me in knowing more of our Lord Jesus. Woohoo! The previous video about the leper washes away our erroneous thoughts of God being unwilling to heal our sickness and disease. You see, how we see God is so important because an incorrect view of God will surely result to a lifelong of fear, bondage, and even mental and physical issues. So speaking of mental sickness, just to share my not so detailed testimony. Last 2019, I experienced depression, anxiety, and panic attacks. It was a dark year to remember. I wanted to be cured badly that I resort to diet methods, to exercise, and to being productive to keep my mind occupied. But as good as these things are, I found out that I was not dealing with the root. The attacks grew worse. So after being a Christian for years, I, I thought I knew God, but those dark days led me to realize that I have a faulty perception of God. But God used it as a great opportunity to know Him more. Depression and anxiety and panic attacks, my friend, are results of seeing ugly things piling up high about yourself. It is a product of wrong thinking about yourself. I used to think that, you know, God is angry with me and is out to punish me for my sins. I felt a great deal of condemnation that led me to a fall even deeper in sin. I was even surprised how far I can sin more. There was no way out of me. But this following verse changed my life. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, For He made Him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in Him. Did you see that? You are righteous because of Jesus. Jesus, who knew no sin, did no sin, and in Him there was no sin, became sin for you, that you, who is a sinner, now is the righteousness of God in Jesus. Wow! Such a divine exchange. And where did that exchange happen? Correct. At the cross, 2,000 years ago. You know, I have believed for years that I am still a sinner even though I have Jesus and thought of it as a humble confession. But no, true humility is exalting the finished work of Jesus in my life. That because of what He did at the cross, I am the righteous saved by grace. The more I confess I am a sinner, the more I act. As a sinner but the more I confess I am righteous not my own righteousness but because of Jesus my actions begin to align daily with what I am believing and oh boy how it delivered me from dark thoughts fears and years of bondages beloved believe that because of Jesus now you are righteous when you believe right about yourself you will do right and your inner and mental healing start this healing is effortless because it is based on what jesus did for you and not what you can do about yourself that is why it is of vital importance to know god by seeing jesus in the scriptures Jesus said, you will know the Father if you know me. God once condemned man of sin during the old covenant of the law. But my friend, we are no longer in that covenant because Jesus fulfilled the law. Now, we are in the new covenant of grace where God condemned sin in the body of Jesus at the cross. 
and we can now claim what he bought for us his divine righteousness so my friend if you are experiencing depression anxiety and panic attacks let me just pray for you can you close your eyes right now I declare I cancel that oppression from the devil in your thoughts and pronounce over your mind free from depression anxiety and panic attacks knowing that you have been declared righteous because of Jesus living in you I declare shalom peace and restful healing in your mental health in Jesus sweetest name amen my friend Say this right now. Jesus, you are my Lord. And thank you that I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. In the midst of attacks, remember, and temptations, keep confessing that verse and see the blessings manifesting in your life. And in your mind, if the Son has set you free, you are free indeed. Amen. I hope you're blessed with this short video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, hit the notification bell so that you won't miss out any of my videos. Once again, Jesus loves you.